This video is an introduction to the new besting brush from Dixie Belle and just one of the amazing looks you can get with it. So I'm starting out with my Dixie Belle coffee bean and I'm just gonna outline this drawer a little bit here. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of water just so my paint stays workable in play. Um, I'm brushing this on with my Dixie Belle Mini, which are my favorite brushes to lay my paint on with. Okay, so I just outlined it in a little bit in my coffee bean. Now I'm gonna come back and do the same thing. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit just because these have been sitting out for a few minutes. I'm gonna do the same thing and give myself just a really messy outline of my chocolate, Dixie Belle chocolate. It's a lighter brown than the coffee bean, would be my next step up, up in color from coffee bean in the line. And then this next color is burlap. You guys, I'm only wetting my brush because I painted live right before this, so my brushes are a little bit dry right now um, with paint on them. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna give myself this outline of burlap. This will all come together, even though it looks terrible right now. I always tell you guys that. You have to trust the process. Every finish goes through an ugly phase. This is your ugly phase right here. And then in the center right here, I'm gonna give myself this little bit of stripe of Dixie Belle fluff. Okay, and now here's where my Dixie Belle Besting brush comes in. So Besting brush is this large natural bristle brush. It's got a combination of natural bristles and synthetic bristles. This is not gonna be your normal smooth um, blended paint finish that I usually do. This is gonna be a little bit more stormy and uneven. So I'm gonna take my Besting brush and I'm gonna start on my outer edge and I'm gonna start working these colors into each other. I misted it with water just because I do not want these paint colors to start setting up yet. I still want to be able to work them. I'm just going along my outer edge and I'm going to go all the way around and then on my next time around I'm going to start going into my center and I'm going to go right over that little stripe of fluff. I'm going to let my darker colors go into it and it's going to stay light just by the fact that that was the base that I put on there. It's going to stay lighter than the surrounding areas. Okay, and then I'm going to take my besting brush and I'm going to tack it off a little bit. It starts getting a little bit muddy. I'm just going to lay off some of that paint and I'm going to go back through and I'm just going to clean up any areas. So where I've got really heavy swirl marks, I'm using a little bit softer hand this time, whereas before I was a little bit more aggressive on it. And then I do notice that I want my outer edges a little bit darker, so I'm just going to add a little bit more of my dark paint, and then I'm gonna go back around and work that in again. Okay, so that was a little bit of my coffee bean. And now I can just work those edges so my edges stay nice and dark. I don't think it matters which way you swirl, whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise. I did reverse it at some point. Um, there is a lot of brush strokes in this, so your arm starts getting a heavy workout. I wanna make sure that I don't have um, a white stripe in the middle, so I'm gonna make sure that I go right through the center of that. And I think I'm gonna stop right here, kinda of like where this look is. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue this on my other two drawers. And the finished product is going to look something like my sides over here. And here's our finished product. You can find a link for where to purchase the besting brush at the description on this post. If you enjoyed this video, you can find more Brush by Brandy on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and on my website at brushbybrandy.com.